hello guys it's me karthik hope you guys are doing really good so today's video we are going to talk about http client get call okay how we can use http client to perform a, a get operation by consuming some api okay so this http client actually been added as part of java 9 as an incubator feature with a package from jdk.incubator.http okay but when it comes to java 11 they have standardized it that means they have added as an experimental feature in java 9 and they felt it it was really good and you know it it is making sense so they have added as a standardized feature in java 11 with package from the package java.net.http okay it supports both http 1.1 and http 2 okay and it is provides a non-blocking request and response semantics with the help of computable future so in down the line few videos we are going to see about this okay so this is nothing but this http client is nothing but an alternative to url http so url connection api right so there were a couple of components into this and we are going to see each and every component in detail how to form that so in order to consume any external api what we need we need to have the request we need to have the response here we need to you know hit that request that end pointed so that's why there were these three components request component client component and response component all these things we are going to see today's you know uh, tutorial so i have this example where we are going to consume our api where you could see here it is giving us all the uh, responses of a student information student information like id name address hobbies are there right cool nice now let's get started here i am in my uh, you know spring boot project what are the dependencies i have added simple our our normal starter web and the starter test lombok dependencies nothing fancy the only thing you need to ensure is the java version should be above 11 uh, greater than r equals to i should say like this greater than r equals to java 11 because this is a future been added as part of the java 11 right now uh, in order to you know implement it i have taken one service called uh, http students service now from here we are going to implement this okay so let me take it as a void as of now get all students okay now uh, are we passing anything from that you know from the api as a request nothing right so that's why i'm not taking any parameters here and uh, let me take end point here directly okay into a string or else you can get it from the application properties as well okay now http request is nothing but let me take it as a http request is equal to is nothing but http request dot new builder okay dot here we have uh, different different options we have okay so let's let's start here okay so we need a URI right so that's why URI new URI of endpoint okay this is nothing but my endpoint and this is going to return me so in case if this is not exist it will throw you have a you know exception that's why i have to take that you have a syntax exception and what is the call we are going to perform we are going to perform get call so that's why we have taken the get and we can set some timeouts and the versions all those things but later on as part of different videos in this playlist okay now i have found my request object what are the things i have kept the important things is what is the endpoint i need that's why i have taken this endpoint and what you know call i need to do whether the get post uh, put delete that's why i i am performing the get call so i have taken the get okay now what is the second component second component is http client right so http client nothing but client is equal to new http 
you can take like that or directly you can take new builder dot build okay so this is nothing but our empty HTTP client object and if you want to perform some connection timeout authentication cookie handlers all those things you can you know uh, check here since it's a uh, for a you know plain simple video so I have taken an empty object like this okay now the second part is completed now the third part is HTTP response right so HTTP response of I'm taking this as a string okay is nothing but let me take it as you know uh, HTTP response response is equal to client here you have couple of options you could see here send and send asynchronous so basically send and send asynchronous are nothing but uh, let me show you send send asynchronous see here send is nothing but a common uh, uh, you know synchronous call whereas send asynchronous is a asynchronous call as we have seen as part of our you know uh, uh, our you know introduction here it is suppose computable future by providing the non-blocking request and response so that is what this one is okay send asynchronous that is what this is okay so let me keep it this now let me take as a HTTP request now then uh, HTTP response dot response uh, you know body handlers dot off string so i am converting my uh, response into the string here okay now this is nothing but my thing okay now this http response object is having few things body and uh, you know uh, other things headers all the status codes we have okay now i am interested in body because i need to get this body and return it back right so this body i am interested in so here let me introduce a local variable called body i have done that now now what you can do is with the help of this body you can you can get the entire JSON and you can access that individual fields by converting this into the POJO. Okay, how you can convert this into POJO is let me take this guy out and put it into some notepad plus plus and let me show you. Notepad plus plus, right? Yeah, so how you can convert this into the POJO? simple this is nothing but my list and these are individual json objects right so i have taken like this here so student info is nothing but individual json object id name address hobby and here hobby is nothing but again a list of strings so i have taken list of strings others are name address and id id is a long field so this is my student info okay so this will go as a list to the response so if you see here as a list to the response now come back here as a status object again this is nothing but status info okay status code and the status message this will get as a status okay so this is nothing but my entire pojo now with the help of object mapper i need to convert my string to the uh, you know map that pojo right so let me take into the separate function here let me take something like uh, 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 private because I wanted this internal to the class okay so what is my thing here this is nothing but my student response right so student student response is nothing but get student 
response from str okay so this is nothing but my string string let me keep it as some body here now let me take object mapper object mapper which is actually part of starter web itself okay so mapper is equal to new object mapper okay now with the help of this mapper dot read value you can convert our string this string to the pojo with the help of student response okay student response okay dot class method here and this is a thing but json processing and uh, i am going to introduce a local variable this i will return okay return student response okay now instead of taking this as a separate variable let me return this directly okay now this is nothing but get student from the body okay so he have only i can pass this guy into this this i could remove okay this now i need to add this into mm, 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 cannot okay this is nothing but student response right <clears throat> yeah cut them now i have done my uh, service layer right now let me take a controller like student http controller okay this is nothing but my rest controller and request mapping request mapping let me take http here then here with the help of get mapping and value is equal to <clears throat> get all students public student response right student response here i'm going to create a method now i need to auto while that uh, uh, private final uh, that student service that is nothing but http student service nothing but as a service i am taking this i will take as a alux constructor okay from the lombok now service dot we have get all students okay i will apply return here itself now i need to handle this as a exceptions here okay right cool good now let me rerun this application that's it <clears throat> in the meantime let me make my you know uh, post mandatory get all students right so this is nothing but our uh, get call so i have taken get here and uh, yeah all of them are ready i think our server is also ready and server is running it 9013 yes if i hit it i should get the response now you could see we got the response properly right so this is how we can consume a, a you know uh, external uh, api with the help of http client thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik sen